Well, as they always say, Mondays are the most boring days starting the week. However, we're going to make things a little more different for everybody to keep your Mondays all cheery and fun. So today we're going to be reviewing much recent events from this Friday and Sun Sunday, resulting of two events I did not witness. The first one is from Impact Wrestling with Victory Road. This one features almost a t uh, championship matches defended. And of course, a couple of special matches. And then of course, we jump into GCW crushed up in Brooklyn. I think we may have have a ch um, uh, some interesting matches taking place. The main event being Rina Yamashita taking on Speedball Mike Bailey. And of course, we got a couple of news updates to tell what's been going on in the world of pro wrestling, such as, of course, what promotions are putting out what events, what who's booked, and what matches are set. Of course, if there's any injured wrestlers, wrestlers who are either signed or departing from their respective promotions, the whole enchilada. So, let's get ready for another episode of the Weeded Wrestle Zone. Welcome everybody to the Lead It Wrestle Zone. All things that is pro wrestling with AEW, NXT, New Japan Pro Wrestling, Impact Wrestling, the National Wrestling Alliance, various promotions, wrestlers, matches, and championships. I am your host, Jay Right here. So, if you are new to the channel, welcome. This is where we throw in a lot of daily reviews from various promotions from anywhere in the world. Not only here in the States, but also in Japan, Mexico, Canada anywhere in the world we also have the yonagi sayaka watch if you're a fan of her we also do some news updates throw in some news updates alert everything else we can do and if you like this channel like what you see please subscribe to us and also if you like this episode please click the like button or leave us a nice comment in the bottom so let's get started with our very first review this is from impact wrestling latest preview from this past friday on the 8th of September of uh, Victory Road. Now, our first match is part of the main card. We're going to skip ahead of the uh, pre-show. We have the Impact X Division Championship on the line. Kushida versus Leo Rush. Now, Leo Rush defeated Chris Saban to become the X Division Champion with alternative motives. Those who are aware of this, he wants to cash in option C. However, Kushida won the ultimate X match where he can cash in an opportunity to, to challenge for the X division title and he picked this particular day. Now this was a very interesting match. Two wrestlers of high caliber. Now X division is like almost the same thing as the cruiserweight division or the junior heavyweight division however you want to put it. But it was a pretty good match but however referee did not see that Leo Rush low blowed Kushida and then apply the final hour in order to retain the title so I wouldn't be surprised that somewhere down the line he'll cash in option C to get a shot of the Impact Wrestling World Championship now our next match is the Knockouts World Tag Team Times we got Savannah Evans and Giselle Shaw taking on MK Ultra Killer Kelly and Masha Slavich now this match came about when of course Giselle Shaw uh, pleaded her case saying that she got rid of both M uh, MK Ultra at the Battle Royale to determine the number one contender the challenge for the knockout title. Uh, so basically this match took place. Now you probably would have assumed uh, Giselle Shaw would have put everything in her power to ensure she wins uh, a championship match. As you know she hasn't won a championship match since she first arrived in Impact. Uh, but however, of course, there was distraction from Jai Vidal, but he got his behind take it out. And then, of course, it was Masha Slamovich with the uh, snow plowed or whatever she calls it onto Savannah Evans to pick up the win to retain the knockout world tag team titles. 
Now, our next match is a very interesting one. Black Tarus taking on Crazy Steve. Now, Steve has gone off the cuckoo rails recently. Um, basically, he was confronted by Black Tarus uh, and all this and that. But you probably would have assumed. But however, he brought in a fork in order to wipe out um, Black Tarus. But when the referee caught in his hands, he put his thumb on his eye to blind him. And then he applied a... Um, was it he played again? Oh yeah, like um, the Belladonna kiss is somewhat of a of a DDT a, manu a maneuver type. So yeah, that's what really took place. So Crazy Steve won this victory. Now our next match is for the Impact Digital Media Championship, um, and also the career is on the line. We have Tommy Dreamer who's putting his career on the line to take on Kenny King. Now, this was a very interesting matchup. Of course, um, many people anticipate that there was the possibility he could lose the match. However, of course, Sheldon Jean was going to get involved in, in some capacity, but he caught his hand in the cookie jar while the ref was distracted with Sheldon Jean all of a sudden. Here comes uh, Heath out of nowhere to apply the wake-up call, but it did give Tommy Dreamer the opportunity to... Um, to apply his DDT onto um, Kenny King and become the brand new digital media champion. So that's pretty good right there. Now our next match, we have Diano Prazo taking on Jordan Grace. Now, as you know, prior before this match, Jordan Grace had a 0-4 record. Basically, he lost to Jordan um, to Diano Prazo four times. So the obvious thing is. Will she able to break the curse of this, or will she have another loss in her thing? But however, Diana Perazzo wanted this match because she felt that um, Jordan Grace was raining on her parade after being in, in, in the main event at Emergence. So, however, uh, that's the one thing. However, we just expected how will Jordan Grace make this match be great? I have to say it was pretty good. But to our surprises, she applied the Grace driver onto her and one, two, three, she finally defeats Diana Perazzo. So the obvious thing is what happens next? Well, we don't know, but we'll see what happens uh, since then. Uh, so let's move on to our next match in Anything Goes match between PCO and Bully Ray. Now, Bully Ray, as you guys know, he claims that PCO is human, but they've been going back and forth. Of course, there was going to be a lot of mayhem and carnage, uh, but it was PCO who pulled off a pitfall on Bully Ray to pick up the way. Now, as you know, this Thursday, there will be the 1000th episode. Uh, Eric Young and Scott Demore were reminiscing the past. But, of course, Scott, um, Eric Young said that he will be there. So, we're kind of anticipating. So, they gave up a good, gave us a good uh, spirit what we're going to expect to see on Thursday. Now, our next match is the Impact World Tag Team titles. Morris and Machine Guns taking on the Rascals. Now, the Rascals, since they reformed again, uh, Zachary Wentz and Trey Miguel decided that they have to change. Uh, they wanted to obtain these titles, but, of course, they... Uh, cut corners to do so however there was delusional that of course the good hand were going to get involved but luckily they did not uh, but however the the spray can, uh, can played a big part to ensure the win by the, the rascals to retain the tiles and they're claiming that they're going to be champions forever well nobody's champions forever sooner or later someone is going to dethrone them now our next match is the Knockouts world title we have Alicia along with her lousy husband Eddie Edwards getting involved uh, and uh, Trinity defends her belt however you probably would have assumed that this match was going to be chaotic however Eddie Edwards when the referee was not he was about to put her through a table once again but luckily uh, Frank Gazarian and Tracy took care of the mess but Alicia Edwards could not get anything done with Trinity and not to mention she was all alone noticing that Eddie Edwards was in fact out but Trinity uh, played a like a somewhat of a version of the bub bomb and then pin um uh, what's her name Alicia to retain the title 
Now, our main event is Steve Macklin versus Josh Alexander. Now, these, this match has been a year in the making. We were supposed to have this match with them about a few months back. However, because of the result of Alexander being hurt, that match was postponed or whatever happened. But in this case, um, it, we were expecting. But you it knew exactly how it was going to be. Macklin was going to put everything he had in order to ensure he walks away with the win. But... Uh, the resilience between with Josh Alexander was just too strong. He wasn't going to give up no matter what until um, he did the C4 spike. One, two, three, it was done. Just like that. Uh, so, yeah, I think Victory World was a pretty good show. I enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoyed watching if you did. But right now, let's move on with our next review, and I believe that is GCW Crushed Up. Okay, it's been a while since I did one of these GCW Crushed Up. Um, this took place this past Sunday on the 10th of September. Um, this was in Brooklyn. The show name of the show is called Crushed Up. So let's begin with the very first uh, match, and we'll go from there. Our first one is a four-way tag match. We have Bussy, Los Macizos. Uh, Wasted Youth and Cole Raderick and Alec Price. Now, I have to say this was a pretty awesome match, a good opener, because anything could happen when it comes in these matches. However, who did I thought was going to walk out? Well, to be honest with you, that to me was a very... I, I was a bit biased because they're pretty amazing tag teams in this. I mean, you would have expected some, uh, something that would have been awesome, but however... In the end, it was, of course, a um, a doomsday by the Los Macizos to um, Marcus Mathers in order to pick up the win. Pretty good win, but also, you know, pretty good match. I have to say, pretty awesome. Now, our next match is singles action. We have Richard Holiday. Uh, he was he was taking on the root of all the old Charles uh, Mason, who in the beginning had no interest of uh, facing him. But he thought that maybe he should join his little group. However, Richard Holliday refuses. The match was so brutalized, you probably wouldn't imagine how this was going to go. But, however, it was a pinfall by Richard Holliday to pick up the win. However, I should have seen this one coming. Uh, when he, uh, Charles Mason loses, he does not like to lose. So he has his little enforcer, Pero, to be there to take out Richard Holliday. So, basically, that's what happened. I'm sure Richard Holly will get a little payback from that, but that's not tonight. Next match, we have Killer Keddy taking on the cutest in the world, Maki Ito. I have to say this was a pretty interesting match because, of course, she decided to play a little bit of uh, Killer Kelly's mind games, but Killer Kelly is no joke. Uh, but Maki Ito, who's proven her worth to Nick Gage and a member of the MK Gang, MDK, uh, Murder, Death, Kill Gang, um, did everything right. So she did pick up a good win on Killer Kelly, applying a DDT. One, two, three, it was done. Just like that. Next up, we got Alex Coughlin taking on the bad boy, Joe Janelle. You probably would have thought that the, that the somewhat cyborg would have done everything in his power to pick up the win. No, Joe Janelle was the one who picked up the win by... Applying a um, what was it? An elbow drop onto Alex Coughlin to pick up the win. However, in the post match, Joe Janela put out a very interesting challenge. But he, as you know, I mentioned GCW will be heading to Japan, and of course, Joe Janela calls out June Kasai. I think that's going to be an amazing match to watch. So we'll see what happens. Uh, till then, hopefully, uh, June Kasai caught that. Now, our next match, we have Bobby Flaco versus Grin Reefer. Now, I wasn't too much hype on this one. However, it was later, uh, all of a sudden, Jacob Fatu shows up and started attacking um, Flaco. And, um, it was a... <sighs> and Grin, but, however, it became um, Jacob Fatu versus Matt Warner. 
Mansour, as you know, he's a, the toughest SOB. He would not take any crap from anybody. But Fatu, as strong and powerful that he is, was able to come, uh, come everything that um, Mansour threw at him. Uh, in the end, he got away with the match by applying a um, a moonsault. One, two, three. It was over right from there. Now, our next match, Death Ra the, the so-called Death Match Royalty. Stephanie DeLanders and Mark Cardona teaming up with Blake Christian, taking on Akira, Mach Slayers, and your effing with the different boy, Jimmy Lloyd. Now, you probably would have assumed that uh, Cardona and Christian and Landers would have walked away with the win if they cheated. Well, apparently, uh, unfortunately, um... Things did not go exactly Matt Cardona's way. He grabbed some powder and act was aiming at Jimmy, but Jimmy was able to avoid her. And then all of a sudden, when um, Masha had uh, Stephanie in a headlock and she was like in a doggy position down there, uh, Christian was about to stomp on Masha, but she moved out of the way and he stomped uh, Stephanie the Landers. You were like, oh, poor Stephanie. But yeah, <laughs> that's what happened. But it did gave uh, Masha to pick up the win um, when she applied the, when she uh, put Blake Christian in the chokehold and he passed out just like that he won. Now our main event, we have Rina Yamashita versus Speedball Mike Bailey. I have to say, what a brutal match. I did not anticipate what I was look, looking at. But it was so good. I think that was a pretty good match. So I think, yeah. But, however, it was Rina Yamashita to pick up the win by applying the Splash Mountain, and that was over right from there. So, we'll see what happens, what's next with GCW. But right now, let's move on with our last and final thing, and that is news updates. Okay, welcome to our news updates. Um, this is what we have for everybody. Uh, California promotion PCW Ultra announced for their beautiful creature show taking place on the 28th of this of October. Zia Brookside makes her first appearance in this show. And of course, the war beast, war beast consistent of Joseph Samael and Jacob Fatu will be making his appearance. Now, GCW has updates for the GCW versus the world. Uh, Jordan Oliver will take on Francesco Akira of the United Empire. So that's going to be interesting to see. Uh, two things from Re uh, Revolver Wrestling Revolver. The Revolver Re uh, Redemption that will take place on the 8th has announced that uh, there's going to be the Revolver World Championship will be on the line. Jay Chris defends it against um, Ortiz. So yeah, that's going to be interesting to watch. And of course, we have Tales uh, from... The ring take place on the 18th of August. Uh, we have J.D. Griffin making his first appearance in the show. Now, uh, Spark Yoshi Piruso of America has announced that Miyu Wananabe from Tokyo Show Pro Wrestling will be there. Oh, man, I, I wish I could have gone to that show, but it's not going to happen. Damn it. But anyway, yeah, that's what happened. Now, our last thing, uh, Dramatic DDT, um, a news outlet out of Japan that uh, speaks... English revealed uh, something about their Tokyo Show Pro Wrestling stars that they will not be there. They said that Miyu, Mai, Miyu Yamashita will be out, will be absent from Tokyo Yoshi Pro uh, shows from the 14th of October from October 27th in the, uh, for her U.S. tour. So basically, she'll be doing a tour here. Uh, Miyu Wananabe will only miss the double shot on the 15th uh, to the Spark Yoshi. And Maki Ito will be making the next USA tour from November to mid-December. So, uh, these ladies are going to be kind of busy. But yeah, so that's pretty much it what we have for now. So, let's just call it a day. Okay, I hope everybody enjoys this episode. Coming up, um, Gleet will have their latest show. I think this is 
uh, G Pro Wrestling version 58, I believe, will be taking place. And, of course, we have NXT and, um, of course, NWA Power. So, we'll see how that progresses from there on out. Uh, I think that's pretty much it that we have. So, um, we'll, I'll say, let's, you know, I'll see you guys in the next DWZ time. Same DWZ channel. I must bid all of you adieu. So, goodbye. And have a nice day. Bang.